Haven one is Diana. It's a really nice fall. Cool day today. The wind's calm. It's November 21st. And I kind of wanted to show you the plumes, the fall colored plumes. This actually, these guys will extend into winter looking like this if we don't get heavy snow and ice. And But this is why I leave my perennial grasses up. As you can see how beautiful they are. The ones taller ones standing there is a zebra grass and there's a variegated grass. We got the little blue stem here. Uh, this is a Miscanthus Shenandoah right there. And over here's the little zebras. Look at those plumes. Aren't those beautiful? It looks so nice. You know, we're going into, you know, it won't be long and snow will be flying here. I just wanted to quick get a video. Over here, this is the Miscanthus flame grass. And then back here is the zebra grass. That's getting to develop a really huge clump. And behind that, I gotta do some work on these next year, is variegated, sometimes called the Japanese Miscanthus grass. want to actually get them all out of that bed right here and it's going to be a job because they're really hard to move but I'm going to try to do it but I'll give you a close-up look at that that is just beautiful right now I love to leave the grasses for winter interest fall and winter interest and it's really nice I know some people cut them down but I like to leave everything as they are until spring stem there. That's a really got a pretty red color, reddish brown color to it. It's beautiful. And the Miscanthus Shenandoah is, is really an airy, plumy grass as you can see. Here's another one here. Look at this fall look to this one right here. This is in the Miscanthus family also. But it's mostly green blades. That, isn't that pretty? Real close. So basically just showing you the fall winter look of the perennial grasses. These grasses all come back for me so that's why I really really love them. 